Hi, it's Don Southerton, and this week's episode of Everything Korea, the topic, Mending Relationships in Korean Partnerships. Let's go ahead and get started. As I shared in my book, Korea Perspective, there is an interconnectedness in the Korean workplace. In particular, complex relationships exist and abound. This is true whether operations are held in South Korea, Germany, Brazil, India, or the Americas. Directives and requests originating in the Korean headquarters radiate into, across the global operations and turn inputs from local teams, uh, Korean and Western, make their way back to the Korean headquarters, impacting decisions by leadership. Relationships also play a very strong part in this process. What may appear to be one-sided and perhaps top-down may actually be the results of months of study, benchmarking, and research, as well as internal discussions and Korean peer input. For reasons unclear to local operations, you know, projects can stall while others reboot. Now, amid the disruptive business conditions we're seeing today, how overseas teams, Korean and Westerners, work together truly matters. We all recognize that within divergent cultures and mindsets, it requires both sides to bend and compromise. And both are actually parts of the same greater whole. That said, at times, tensions culminate in relationships between Korean and Western teams souring. The good news is that even in an era of disruptive business, the most strained relationships can be repaired. In fact, a negative relationship turned positive can be a very strong one. Now, here are some key takeaways from a noted Harvard Business Review uh, article titled Fixing Relationships When Gone Sour. And I've embedded the link for that here, but also I have some of the key takeaways. First, give up on who's right and wrong. Next, Look forward and not back. Take a solution-forwarded approach. Next, understand from the other person's perspective, how do they see things? What is their contextual factors that need to be considered? Number next, instead of debating what went wrong and who's at fault, try to find a space where you're aligned. It can be helpful to focus on the bigger picture, the common shared goals and obstacles. Don't assume, that thing, don't assume that things will change immediately. As in all relationships, repairing relationships can take time. Now, by the way, communications do style. There are two process perspectives you, that we could look at, Korean and American, um, though they would exist for also Korean and German and many other cultures. I've embedded two uh, pictures of these charts that give you an idea of how both teams may look at the same situation, but also have a different process of how they would approach it. I think it's very informative. Thoughts? As always, Stacy, my personal assistant, can schedule time for us to meet or chat. Uh, you know, on all urgent matters, you can always text me. Uh, and for more information, if you're new to my work, uh, there's actually, I've embedded a, a, a link here that will give you a little bit more background and how to get in touch with us and how we can work with you. So, until next time, this is Don Southerton wishing you all the best. Take care.